Hi and welcome to a new video here at the Baby Loves Bricks channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a new Lego set coming out in July. It's called the El Dorado Fortress. It's actually a remake of the 1989 El Dorado Fortress. If you just have a look at this set, you will understand why Lego has been recreating it or remaking it is a newer model because it is an amazing set. I mean, not just not just for pirate lovers. I mean, I did not grow up with a love for pirates or anything, but I do appreciate good architecture and gorgeous designs. So I wanted to take a closer look at this set with you and show you what it's about. This new set coming out is based on the 1980s El Dorado Fortress, also known as the Governor's Fort Saber. So the original set had like this pressed base plate with a ramp and it had like printed stones and everything on it. So it, it already looked like an elevated island. That old set only just had about 500 bricks to build the actual fortress with the set that is coming out right now. You will have 2,509 bricks. So which means that you basically get to build that island all the way from scratch. Uh, bases including the rock base. I'm very happy that they kept that ramp with all that cobblestones on top of it. It looks really good. Uh, I can imagine that if you buy this new set you will be doing a lot of uh, grey rock building <laughs> to start with but I assume it's going to be well worth because you're going to be building this fortress island all the way from bottom to top. It just looks so much better from an architectural point of view and the col coloring nowadays is so much more vivid. It just looks incredible. And the island itself is actually a modular island so you can take bits and pieces apart, make like a very long stretch display. If you fold the fort open it's going to be 27 centimeters high and 70 centimeters wide. Or you could just put them all together and make like this one cubicle uh, fortress element, which makes an incredible display piece, by the way. So in the fortress, you will find uh, the Admiral's office. You will also find a, a pirate prison and you will find a lot of secret spaces that you can escape to or escape from. It looks incredible. With this set you also get one rowboat. Uh, I think that with the previous set you got two, but you know, it's fine because what you get in return is this very big pirate ship. And what I love about the pirate ship, you see those fabric sails, they are actually printed. So it seems like it can hold a lot of figures. Talking about the figures, you get a total of eight minifigures with this set. So you get six Imperial soldiers, one Admiral, uh, two lady soldiers and three uh, male soldiers. But you also get two pirate minifigures. I love that one is male and one is female. Uh, but you also get a skeleton. So, so basically you get nine minifigures and the skeleton goes into a little hideaway place. I can only imagine he tried to escape one time and got stuck between the walls. Pretty lovely. And you also get a monkey, a parrot, and you get a crab figure. So there's like a very nice scene to be played out here. Coming back to that skeleton, this is what I really like about this remake, because now you are building this brick-based layer. It will enable you to create several um, hidden rooms and hidden feature in the base. So that wasn't possible with the old set, but it is possible with this new set. I really like that because it is so fun to just see that skeleton stuck in between the walls. But it also makes for a nice cellar. You can see there are some wine barrels in there or maybe some rum casks. It looks pretty cool. And then all around the island there is like this black dock on which you can walk. But, it's, but there's also this scaffold here. Uh, on which you can dock your boats. Uh, just like the older El Dorado Fortress, there is a huge crane which can be used to uh, lift heavy boxes. There is a white and blue flag on the top of the fortress and there are several cannons, functioning cannons if I may add, because just like other 
propulsion uh, pieces Lego has, these can also shoot like actual bullets coming out. And because you can take that fortress apart as a modular set, you, uh, it looks so cool. And then the boats can sail in between. It just looks so incredibly terrific El Dorado fortress. It looks like something that just came straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I, I absolutely love it. Just a little bit more uh, information about the set. So the El Dorado Fortress, it, it's going to be for sale 7th of July. But for the VIPs, there is an early release on the 4th of July. The set has 2,509 bricks. It is an 18 plus set. And the sales price is 215 euros 215 dollars uh which i think is a is a is a fair price considering the amount of bricks you get i think this one is going to appeal to a lot of uh, a lot of lego fans not just people who love pirates uh, but also if you like building fortresses castles this set will make an incredible play set in and around the fortress and uh, yeah just let me know what do you think of this set is this a set you would like to get your hands on coming next month let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe yourself to this channel because i will be back with more reviews and new lego releases coming out soon thank you for watching bye